I love clematis, the colors, the beauty. Uh, the thing is, it doesn't last as long. I wish it would last longer. I wish the flowers were bigger. Well, Roberta's makes those dreams come true because this clematis is extra large, double petaled, and it's two, it blooms two times longer than typical clematis. It's on two easy payments of $16.17. First day ever on easy pay, and you get free shipping and handling with this one. It's a perennial, it's gonna come back year after year. It gets full to part sun, uh, except for the, the bottom, and we'll show you a cool thing that uh -huh. Devin did. Yeah, he'll talk about it. And this blooms summer through autumn, and a longer, uh, and even longer in the second year, right? Oh yeah, yeah, this is a plant, this is the, by far our finest collection of clematis that we have. You know, we already had one clematis collection sell out, and this is the final uh, clematis collection that we have of the year. Yeah. And it's a really special collection because with this four piece clematis collection, you're getting two each of two different varieties. Now, when we were making this collection up, we were working with uh, a gentleman that um, lives in Poland. Mm -hmm. He is the world's preeminent clematis breeder. He has spent his entire life breeding clematis. And he came to our greenhouses in Indiana, studied the climate, studied the soil, and he told us these two varieties would be spectacular across the country because they offer extra large six inch wide flowers that are multi-petaled. So they're thicker, full bodied, and they will be blooming from May to August oh every God. single year. Most clematis only grows, uh, blooms about five to six weeks. You're getting significantly longer flowering. And the other problem with gener uh, generic clematis is that they only produce flowers at the top of the plants. These are gonna be producing these gorgeous flowers from the bottom all the way to the top wow. all summer long. Wow, and this is what's included, right? This are is one of colors? your, yes, this okay. is your first color, the Kiri Takanawa. Now, uh, it's named after um, a famous singer from New Zealand who um, was actually one of, he, he's often sung for Princess Diana, wow. and he had these flowers named after him, I guess because uh, they're so full-bodied and really just beautiful mm. in the garden. And these clematis, look, they are just covering oh, the look vines. Look at that. Oh, my word. I love that. Um, is this a fast grower? Is it this is a wonderful growing like, what clematis. What will I have? What will, what will I have yeah. this year? So you, these clematis will grow about <coughs> 8 to 10 feet tall. And that's as tall as they'll get. They're not a clematis that's going to go crazy and grow 30 feet. And you're going to have to go uh, prune them, get on your ladder, and do all this kind of training. These stay more compact, growing about eight to ten feet. Oh, oh, which, oh, which is reminds me, I have to ask you: Is this the kind of clematis that I cut down to the ground, or you do I don't do, need to prune this ever? Does it do the flowering on the old old? Yes, this wood. is going to flower on both the old wood and the new so wood. So I don't have to so cut it. So never down. prune it, nice. which is such a problem for many growers. You know, you, clematis that gr gets really unruly, and you got to prune it. You never have yeah. to do that. Wow. And here you can see the Veronica's choice. You're getting two of these clematis vines, and these are a wonderful blushing pink. You see how thick and rich those the colors and the uh, flowers the petals oh gosh, are yeah they produce double flowered clematis that means most yeah. people never even knew that was a, a real thing look at this these are beautiful but yeah. i just love it that i plant it and i just kind of let it go give it yeah. something to climb on right give it something to climb on and you know you don't have to go get this fancy trellis or pergola it's or anything cover it like up that anyway yeah you know uh, something that my yeah. uncle eric has in his backyard he took an old rake stuck it in the ground upside down <laughs> and let his clematis grow up that or if you have a few bamboo stakes kind of just tie them together at the top, let your clematis grow up that. Now, as you can see on the set here, we have uh, just kind of demonstrated a few coral bells in front of your yeah, clematis. Yeah, why did you do this? The reason we did this is because when you plant your clematis, um, the actual bottom of the plant likes to stay a little bit cooler than the top of the plant. Oh. So by planting these coral bells right around the base of your clematis, you'll help to ensure that your clematis is as healthy as possible, not to mention it's really gorgeous. It's a gorgeous it look. It does. It looks beautiful. Yeah. And the coral bells, bells are coming Those up. Those are coming up. Yeah. yeah. And they're shade loving. So if you've got something that's got sun down here, shade down yeah. here, we're going to do a, a kind of a little party for the shade lovers yeah. uh, out there. So that's going to be coming up. There are hostas that are beautiful that are included in there. The coral bells as well. I do have to let you know, though, this is very popular. Remember, here's the key thing. If you're like me and you love clematis, but you get confused like I do, 
of when, and if I could just talk to the viewer real quick, it'd be wonderful. Thank you guys. Um, if you're like me and you get confused, like, oh, okay, I got this last year. Am I supposed to cut this now? Does it bloom off of the old wood? Do I, how far down do I, it can be confusing, especially when you have a big garden and you've got to kind of keep tabs on everything. Right. You plant this and you do nothing else. Yeah. And this, that, this isn't something that you have to trim down. It's not going to get over the top, growing everywhere, falling all over the garden. No, it's compact, eight to 10 feet. And then it blooms and blooms and blooms two times longer yeah. than your regular clematis. And you've got that longer blooming season. Well, so. also, if you look on this plant, you're seeing you. flowers at Thank the you. bottom of the plant all the way to the top. Most clematis is only going to bloom in this top yeah. section. Yeah. These clematis perform from the bottom to the top. That's why they look so stunning. And that's why they're really great. You plant it along your fences, your trellises. Next to your mailbox is a really fantastic yeah. traditional way to use it. Yeah. Um, some of my favorite ways to use clematis that are a little bit different. Many of us have some, uh, some shrubs or hedges around the garden, like your boxwoods or your arborvitaes. Yeah. Let them climb up your arborvitae so your arborvitae Ooh. has these beautiful flowers from May to August. Yeah, and because it's, clematis isn't a choker. I mean, it it's, is not. it's not going right. to be that aggressive on things, in yeah. especially in arborvitaes or a boxwood. It's perfect. Or something dense like that. So it is. That's a great it's idea. It's really gorgeous. It, and it gives, you know, we all need those green shrubbery. Mm -hmm. So why not make them a little bit prettier? And now, if you've never planted vines okay. before, yeah, tell um, me. I just want to show you guys. It's so imagine we want we want our vine our clematis to grow up this pergola. All that you have to do, you go about a foot away from whatever you want it to climb, and you kind of just when you plant it in the ground, you you plant it at a little bit of an angle, so it's kind of just gearing its way towards whatever you want to climb. So I would plant it, I'd plant it around here, you know, a foot away from uh, your pergola, your trellis, your fence. Let me move this so you can see better. And then what I would do. I'd go and plant a few of the coral bells about a foot in front of that. Aww. And so that you can, you can keep the, the roots of the, of the clematis nice and cool. a little bit cooler, but it still has the opportunity to climb up whatever you want. And these clematis are so special because they produce these beautiful, oh. full-bodied, yeah. double-petaled flowers wow. that bloom from May to August. And That's from a, top to bottom. From top I to like bottom. That too. Um, so double-petaled, extra large, two times longer blow, uh, grooming, or blooming season, uh, two easy payments of $16.17. This is for a four piece. I don't know where you live that you're watching right now, but I know where I live. If I want to buy one of these at the garden center, I don't, I mean, I, right. it's a, it's a, it's Clematis is very expensive at your garden centers. And when you go to your garden centers and you ask them, I want a clematis that's going to grow such and such. It has these sort of flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sometimes you'll find someone that knows that's what they're gonna, talking here's about. Here's what happens at mine. Okay. Yeah. If I go over there and I set all that, yeah. here's the only thing that they know is, do you want the purple or the white ones? Right. Exactly. That's all they know. And that's all I can get out of and them. And that's why you shop with Roberta is because we scour the globe for the finest varieties. There are thousands of varieties of clematis out there. We've selected these because they grow eight to 10 feet tall. They don't get totally unruly. You never have to cut them back or prune them. They have a flowering season that's twice as long. Oh the flowers gosh. are thick, full bodied, double petaled like that. You know exactly what you're growing yeah. when you grow with Roberta's. Yeah. And but that's my favorite thing is this though, honestly is uh, you, I don't have to be like you. Like, I don't have to be this expert gardener. Yeah. I put this in the ground and I don't have to trim. I don't have to hack. I don't have to cut back. I don't have to deadhead. I put it in, I water it up a little bit, get it going, plant it the way Devin said, point it towards something that you want it to grow on, and I don't have to do anything else. There aren't there, there's so many other ones out there that you have to trim, eat. you know, am I trimming it down six inches above the ground? Am I letting it go because it does the, does the bloom off the old bark? I forget by the next season. Yeah. Or it gets like a monster out there and all spindly and only flowers at the tippy top that I can't see anyway. Over a thousand of these are gone. It is none of what I just talked about. I don't know why I wasted your time, <sighs> you listening to that. But that's the point is, this is so easy. It's more yeah. beautiful. You get, you have longer flowering time and you have bigger flowers. Why wouldn't you do this? Oh, and you get four of them? Yeah. With that guarantee. It's really a, it's a great opportunity. You don't have to remember any, any of the Nothing. tips that we've, we've yeah. offered, the way to grow them. They're all found in the growing guide. So you don't have to remember what we said. But just remember this. 
These clematis varieties, you won't find at your garden centers. You will not find these anywhere no. else. No. We go and work with the finest clematis breeder in the world. He comes from Poland. Unless you're going to Poland to find these, you're not going to find them. Mm -hmm. These varieties of clematis, they offer gorgeous double petaled flowers mm -hmm. that produce from the tops of your plants all the way to your bottom of the wow. plants this from is, May to August. This is why you go with Roberta's, okay? This is why, because it, don't be fooled out there in the, in the garden world, in those, uh, what, wherever you live close to a nursery. These are things that other people don't have. Yeah, this no one what, will have these. No one will this have is these, what for sure. This is what Roberta's does. They travel the world and they're able to make those connections for generations of handshakes and trust across the world that they let them into their nurseries. Some people aren't even allowed in their nurseries. And I even know that they have some plants that aren't even allowed out of the country <laughs> except by them. So well, yeah, and the thing is, you know, our season here is almost coming to a close. Yeah. If you want to get these while they're still around, this is really the time to get yeah. them because you want to have the longest season of flowers in your garden this year. So order them now. We're starting to ship out all across the country Ooh, right now. Okay, it's getting down to the wire here. Make your choices. Two easy payments of $16.17. First day ever on Easy Pay. And of course, everything in the show has free shipping and handling. By the way, the, the coral bells down below, shade loving. Um, those would be perfect down at the bottom. We'll, we'll do a little cute segment, a little garden party of shades. So, all right, now we've got some information about today's next big thing, but stay with me because coming up next is, oh, you guys are all over there. Oh, I have like art, art, Mother Nature's, it's like a painting, really. <laughs> Today's next big thing is almost here. Watch today on NBC starting April 17th to find out whose idea will impress you, me, and a panel of judges. Then watch Saturday Morning Q, April 22nd, when the winner sells their product live on QVC. Are you hungry for more In the Kitchen? Because now you can watch both In the Kitchen shows on two amazing channels and you can watch online. Join us for In the Kitchen with David every Wednesday and Sunday on QVC. And every Saturday for In the Kitchen with Mary on QVC2. Join us for our Scott Living Outdoor Style Show. You should watch. We have an amazing collection of outdoor furnishings and accessories. We want to help you create a beautiful outdoor retreat. Don't miss it. What are you doing? Subliminal messages, duh. You don't even know what that means. Check out some of the latest items from our Scott Living Collection here on QVC. Okay, are you ready for this? This is truly artwork 